You're watching the Football Radio Show. We're not the suits that talk football. We're the dudes that know football. Here's your hosts, Casey and Dave. Hello and welcome to the Football Radio Show. I'm Casey. I'm Dave. And we're not the suits that talk football. We're the dudes that know football. All right, speaking of, we had an awesome game to start week six. The New York Giants at the Chicago Bears. And Dave, knock, knock. Who's there? Owen. Owen who? Owen oh, 6. Oh, Sick Burnside Giants. They started ouch. the season 0-6. Oh, the Bears win Brutal. this thing 27-21, to 21, but actually give the Giants some credit. They yeah. didn't look terrible in yeah, this Yeah, I game. didn't see that coming, Giants fan. Um, yeah, you know what? The Giants played pretty well. Obviously, it's the tough luck season for the Giants here. They could have easily won a handful of these games along the way. Unfortunately, at 0-6, oh, it's almost an insurmountable hole. Uh, historically, yes, it is. But, um, yeah, the Giants found a little ground game and got something going there. Casey, where was this earlier in the season? Oh, I know, dude. They, uh, they could have used this in the beginning. Brandon Jacobs had a real nice night. 22 carries, 106 yards, two touchdowns, almost right under a five-yard average. This has been gone. They've been averaging 50 yards a game rushing, and tonight he went over 100, man. Very impressive, and they just looked different. But what didn't look different was Eli Manning and <laughs> yeah. the interceptions, dude. Yeah, one of the things we knew about this game was if Eli could manage to get away from his mistake-prone uh, uh, tendencies that have been has really haunted him this yeah. year, then they'd be okay in this game. They'd have a real good chance. Unfortunately, right off the bat, Eli tosses a pick uh, and – uh, tosses another one shortly thereafter. But the first pick, Casey, the Bears uh, get the ball all the way down to the, literally a three, four yard line there. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, they go for it on fourth down early in this game instead of taking the three points. Yeah, you got to take the three free points right there. I know you people get hyped. Oh, go for it. But yeah, you want the we, seven, of course. Yeah, but you, those are free points. Eli throws the pick. You kicked off. You take those three with you. We saw it burn the Chargers. We yeah. saw it burn the Falcons, and it almost burned the Bears tonight. That had been a nice nine-point lead late in the game. Yeah, I mean, they're sitting there up by six. You know, I mean, Sweating. Eli with a couple of big plays there, and boom, you lose that game. That's three straight for the Bears. I mean, too much at risk. You yeah. take the points. Just get your points. You earn your points or even your, your given points in this case, you take them. And guess what? The uh, the line was minus eight here, the Bears, um, and they would have covered if they had that field goal, but that's I, another story. Yeah. All right, dude, in the third quarter, Ruben Randall made a big catch. He slammed the ball on the ground. That was a fumble. The ref comes right. over and says, oh, he gave himself up. We've seen them call this completely other, the other way. Yeah. I don't like it at all, dude. Yeah, I mean, it killed the Chargers in a game a couple years back. Uh, the very first catch of uh, Richard Goodman's career is a first down. He's excited, and he gets up. He leaves the ball on the ground. It's a turnover. It's, the ex- it's virtually the exact same play, and they ruled that a fumble. Uh, for some reason, uh, th- in this case, he gave himself up. I think what we need to do uh, in this offseason is determine what giving yourself up is. You know, take a knee, yeah. do a slide, assume like a, a crawl position or whatever it is. It has to be distinctive. Uh, body language that yeah, says, that I'm not it. going further. Not, And that wasn't what we saw today. Yeah, and two Charger references in the show already, and we're just, and we're just getting going. Away. Yeah. Brandon Marshall, real nice game. Lots of weapons there, but he had nine receptions, 87 yards, two touchdowns, and um, pretty complete win by the Bears and Jay Cutler. Yeah, you said Jay Cutler just needed to keep it clean, Casey, and Jay Cutler had a nice game. Yeah, he did. 24-36, 262, two TDs. Had some big runs there, but no interceptions, man. You don't give the ball away, and you're going to win a lot of ball games. Yeah, and this, in terms of this Bears offense, you know, there's obviously some talented players here. The new system with Tressman there. Uh, if these young players, and they're not young, but the, young in this system with Forte, Bennett, mm-hmm. uh, Jeffrey is a pretty young guy, and then obviously Marshall is the go-to guy here. This could be an offense that gets really good as the yeah. season goes on. All right, Dave, speaking of the season going on, we've been talking about this for years here at the crib. There's been talk about a potential playoff expansion in 2015. Yeah. Give them the football radio show playoff expansion, dude. Dude, you know what I like is playoff games, okay? (laughs) And you add a couple of playoff games, that's a good thing. You know what? We've got 12 teams in the playoffs right now. You expand this thing to 14, and what you do is you make – each, each conference have just one by team. Yeah. And that means that team at the front 
at the They're top there. For something. Yeah, they they can't rest those players in that last game or two because that buy is that valuable, right? Uh, so you make that. Uh, carrot something for them to really strive yeah. for towards the end of the season. And what do we get as a result? Another team, and we have, it's a tiebreaker that knocks that last team out so many mm-hmm. times. And we've seen again and again now the Giants and the, and the Packers uh, have made it from that sixth seed. That's not that far from the seventh seed. No doubt. You know? Give it to us. I mean, let's, let's do this thing, people. Expand the playoffs. Give us another game each conference. Awesome. All right, Dave. Monday night, we saw the Jets beat the Falcons, just like everybody had predicted. Yes, of um, course. But Julio Jones goes down, dude. On your fantasy, if you Yikes. on your fantasy team, if you add Julio, who are you picking up? Yeah, that's a good question, Casey. I mean, I myself would pick up Keenan Allen because I'm a Chargers fan. But you beat me I to it. I got him, baby. <laughs> Woo! That guy has been uh, rising up. You know, ever since uh, the Chargers have lost their uh, your primary, really their first and second receivers. Keenan Allen, a third-round draft pick, really making a play here early on uh, to be a go-to guy, a playmaker. And I think, uh, you know, you, you scored on that one, Casey. I yeah. think you're, you're going to be in business with that guy. There's other players too, Casey. Yeah, Marlon Brown for the Ravens. They got a good matchup against Green Bay. He's only got 14 receptions, but three of those are touchdowns. And That's as good nice. as the pack has been playing against the run, maybe they're going to throw it a lot there in uh, Baltimore. Yeah, and other guys I, I'm, I'm kind of keen on would be em- Emmanuel Sanders, who I'm surprised is available in our yeah. league, as well as Jericho Cotri, both Steelers. And, yeah, maybe they're available because the Steelers have been struggling. But you still got Ben Roethlisberger at the quarterback position. And this, this Steeler team is going to find yeah. a way to get the, the thing going here a little bit. And those are, those are going to be productive players moving forward. So if you need guys, if you're in a pinch, I think there's a handful of guys right there to look at. Yeah. All right, Dave, lots of big games this weekend. We have the, uh, the Skins at the Cowboys, the Sunday night game. And, of course, Monday night fourth Charger reference. The Colts yeah. at the Chargers. We got those shows coming up at footballradioshow.com on Saturday. So come to the site and check that out. But before that, let's get to a couple games we've already talked about. Yeah, Green Bay at Baltimore to me is a super mm-hmm. exciting game. We're we're on different sides on this one. I like what the Pack's doing. Their ground game so much better, so improved with Lacey uh, running the ball hard there, and they still got obviously. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, you know, one of the best yeah. quarterbacks in the league, an arsenal of receivers. I think that that's going to be a little too much for that Raven defense. It's a young defense. It's getting better, but I, I think that they're going to be able to put points on the board, and I think that Flacco and the Ravens are going to have a hard time matching those points. So I got the pack in that one, Casey, but I think it's going to be a phenomenal game. Again, uh, it's one of our feature games on footballradioshow.com. Yeah, I don't know how you make the uh, Super Bowl champs dogs at home, so I think that <laughs> will inspire them, and I think that defense is getting it in order. But uh, let's see a lot of Ray Rice in that game. Yeah, probably and some peers. Yeah. All right, uh, another game that looks to be awesome is the undefeated Saints at the Patriots. Patriots 4 and 1, Saints 5 and 0. Oh. Patriots two and a half point favorites in this game. Yeah, I mean, this is probably my favorite game of the weekend uh, in terms of just real two awesome football teams going against each other. The Patriots obviously 4 and 1, but have really struggled to get to that 4 and 1. And I'd like to struggle to 4 and 1. Yeah, exactly. Who wouldn't <laughs> want to be there at 4 and 1, right? But, but the Saints They've played such great football. Uh, now that Sean Payton's back, Breeze is playing at an incredible level. Jimmy right Graham, now. baby. Jimmy Graham's killing wow. it. And it's Sproles, Pierre Thomas, the, the weapons that they've got going there. I just, I'm excited at what they can do. I think that they're hitting on all cylinders. The Patriots, with the return of Gronk as a possibility Gronk. here, it's not a guarantee or anything. The solid run game that the Patriots have been uh, running with this year, even though they've gone through some running backs there, I think this is going to be a great game. I like the weaponry and the uh, arsenal that Drew Brees is going to bring it out. I think that that's why they've got this game, uh, got an edge in this game. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. I actually like the Patriots in there. It's just kind of a feel thing for me. I think they get it done at home. I think they're sick of everybody talking about how ugly they are at winning games. So it's going to be an awesome game. And by the way, we have more in-depth previews of all the Week 6 action at footballradioshow.com. And on the website, we've got a cool new Twitter gallery. We've got tabs there. And we have a ton of stuff. We have writers. We have players. We have teams. We have our own tweets. Yeah, there's a ton of information there via Twitter. So get to the website and check that out. And by the way... If you don't follow us yet, follow us, please, at Football RS. Yeah, not to mention, like us on Facebook, right? And 
subscribe to the YouTube channel, which you're watching right here at Football Radio Show. All right, if you have any questions and you want to chat us up, hit us on footballradioshow at gmail.com. We're listening. Yeah, it's yeah. just that simple. Yeah. All right, get to the website. Check out all the week six previews. I'm Casey Mallon. I'm Dave Hewitt. We'll catch you next time.